Good evening and welcome to our virtual academic awards program this evening, also known as Strawberry Fest, except there are no strawberries or no ice cream. And due to our conditions and uh, the pandemic, uh, we had to reinvent our evening. So thanks for joining us. Before we start, let's have a word of prayer. Father God, as we come before our throne of grace, we thank you for your many blessings, Lord. We thank you for this evening in which we can recognize the hard work of our students. Uh, we pray that you will be with each presenter and with each student, Lord. Bless them and continue to bless them as they uh, live for you. Forgive us of our sins and our shortcomings, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to welcome you here and thank you for joining with us. Hopefully this evening will be uh, enjoyable for you. I'm starting out with the first awards. The first one I want to uh, bring to your attention is the Carson Scholarship Award. And this is a scholarship where a student has to achieve and maintain a 3.75 GPA uh, throughout their four years. Uh, also, uh, they're a citizen in good standing and uh, how they are chosen for this ward is based on those students who have a 3.75 or higher. And then uh, they are given the opportunity to write a essay in which uh, the faculty will review later and choose the top three. From there, we send those top three essays to the Carson Scholarship Foundation and then they will pick their recipient. And as I've already said, $1,000 to be used uh, towards any college, not just an Adventist college or university. And uh, this year's recipient for the Carson Scholarship uh, Foundation Award is Mr. Eden Samaniego. So congratulations to Eden. <clears throat> By the way, that's a very prestigious award to win the Carson Scholarship Foundation Award. The other is an award given in conjunction with the Southwestern Union Conference and the North American Division, and it's called the Caring Heart Award. This is an award where the faculty sit down and look at all of the juniors in our school, and then some of the criteria are that they are a student in good standing. This is not just an academic award. It's a student in good standing, uh, community service, which is a requirement uh, of our system anyway. And uh, we choose a name and send it on. And with this award comes a $500 stipend, which can be used towards a mission trip and or uh, towards a school. Also an engraved Bible, uh, and a plaque. And so this year, uh, our recipient for the Caring Heart Award is Ricardo Cruz. <laughs> and at this time, uh, we have an agenda, and the teachers will follow this agenda as we go throughout the evening, and then I will close. Thank you. I'm giving awards to those that have done well in my classes. So you'll get a certificate like that. For IPC, they, uh, these have to have an A each semester. So Dalton Chang, Sophia Bowinkle, and Lily Weingardner. Now I'm giving a special award to Dominique Thomas because how she always participates in my class. I love it. For biology, Vanessa Saldivar, Mia Salmon Diego, Anna Dennison, Ashley Kelsey, and Joshua Klein. And then I teach all, also I teach anatomy and physiology, and it's Cameron Perez. So thank you all for working so hard.
Good evening. I am Mrs. Briones, and this evening I will be presenting awards for my students. I have to say that I am very proud of all of them. They have worked so hard uh, during the entire year, and especially under the circumstances that we are, I have to say that they all deserve uh, an award. However, there are some that have just gone above and beyond, and they have achieved a 95 or better uh, both semesters. And these are the students that will be receiving an award that looks like this. For Spanish one, I have Maikaja Eugene, April Garza, Ashley Kelsey, Vanessa Saldivar, Mia Samaniego, Maya Serna, and Laura Watts. For Spanish two, um, and I have to tell you a little, about, a little bit about this class, these juniors are just so hardworking and so dedicated. There's quite a few of them, so I am, I'm excited, and this is the time to recognize all their hard work. And this is the list. Greta Barracks, Ricardo Cruz, Gabriel Guro, Alex Falcon, Selimar Herrera, Hannah Kraus, Daniela Patino, Gracie Planels, Gisela Puicon, Kylie Rose, Haley Seidel, Rachel Sosa, James Terry, and Sarah Valderrama. For Spanish three, I have Kayla Anderson, and by the way, Kayla is the only student um, this year and probably in quite a few years who has actually achieved a 100. Everything this young girl uh, presents to class, it is just amazing. I am very proud of you, Kayla. Um, and the list goes on. Zandri Andrade, Erisbel Anglada, Kate Garcia, Luis Garza, Danny Ilienko, Michelle Ogas, Cameron Perez, and Abel Ramirez. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Good evening, my name is Jonathan Coker. I am one of the English and history teachers at CTA. Uh, in addition to those classes, I also get to teach uh, drama. And this year I've decided to present awards for those that have stuck it out and have been in this class year after year. They have helped me build up the program into what it is today to the point that we now have a waiting list. And so I wanted to recognize these names for making drama class fun and exciting, and uh, I want to say thank you to them and that I will miss them a little bit. Uh, so there will be an award presented that looks like this to Jack Bindle, Jason Enriquez, Karen Espinoza, Jaden Hutchinson, Beatriz Perilla, and Carson Word. For my English One uh, class, I have decided to give awards for all of the students that have been able to maintain an A throughout the year. Uh, I have two sections for this class. For the A section, uh, the, na the names are as follows. Lizeth Cruz, Angie Gonzalez, Izzy Gutierrez, Sophie Jan, Donna Salazar, Henry Valderrama, and Sophia, I'm sorry, Bo, Bo Winkle, did I did I get it right? Okay. Oh yes, I got heads nodding. Okay. All right. Uh, for the B section, I have the following names: Arlene Charles, Zephanie Perilla, Jessica Romero, Lily Tubbs, Samantha Weaver, and Lily Weingartner. Uh, I also get to teach world history 
And this year, I'm going to do the same, presenting a, a certificate to all of those that have been able to maintain an A throughout the year. Uh, the names are as follows. Gail Chayasut, Dalton, and Preston Chang, despite my best efforts to keep them off this list. Olivia Crawford, Abby Haslam, Joshua Klein, Lucas Larson, Jaden Morales, Marvin Panada, mm. Dania Correa, Makaija Eugene, Maya Laschetti, Christian Lease, Matthias Logan, Katie Martinez, and then I actually have three that I need to recognize differently. This has never happened before in all the time that I've taught world history. I have three students that have maintained a 100% in world history. To underscore just how unlikely that is to happen, you would have had to have perfectly written over six research papers, perfectly answered all the questions on at least six or seven tests that are all short answer and essay, a myriad of projects and a myriad of homework and timelines, and they did it all perfectly throughout the year. I've never seen it happen before. That's Anna Dennison, Ashley Kelsey, and Vanessa Saldivar. But of course, if anybody would do it, it would be those three. Uh, the last group that I have to recognize uh, is my Religion Three class. I have, uh, I have never given out awards for religion, not to the best of my memory. Um, and I was sitting trying to decide what exactly to say or who to point out or to recognize. Uh, but I would, instead of recognizing or pointing out a particular student, I want to point out this entire class. I have enjoyed this year immensely. Both sections have been so much fun to teach. I will miss you guys. You made uh, teaching a true joy. I looked forward to that class every day and I will miss you next year. Thank you. Hello, my name is Bradley Colvin. I teach English, well, I teach English for the sophomores, juniors, and seniors at CTA. And I have selected my students who will be receiving the certificate um, if they have received an A plus and have excelled in their class projects uh, that they've worked on throughout the year. Um, so beginning with the sophomores, I have Gail Chaisit, Anna Dennison, Ashley Kelsey, Joshua Klein, Joe Gutierrez, and Mia Samaniego. And with my juniors, I have Greta Barracks, Chloe Bradwell, Ricardo Cruz, Hannah Krause, Gracie Planels, Gisela Puicon, Rachel Sosa, Sarita Valderrama, Selamar Herrera, Daniela Patino. And for the seniors, I have Danny Ilienko, Beatrice Perilla, Cameron Perez, Joshua Anderson, Justin Anderson, and Justin Mertz. And lastly, my student that received 100% all year round, Kayla Anderson. Thank you. Well, due to the coronavirus, I will only be able to give awards to the top students in my classes. The award for the top physics performance this year goes to Albert Einstein. Unfortunately, Dr. Einstein is unable to be with us today as he is dead. So accepting the award in his stead will be Kayla Anderson and Jason Enriquez. The award for the top chemistry student goes to Greta Barracks and Brianna Mathis. I only wish I could see your reactions. For Algebra 1, the winners are Liseth Cruz 
and Lily Tubbs, I congratulate you on this great addition to your accomplishments and hope that in the future you will multiply. The Chisholm Trail Academy Award for Best Performance in a Bible II setting. The nominees are Charlton Heston as Moses, Ashley Kelsey as a Pillar of Salt, Vanessa Saldivar as Manna, and Joshua Klein as the Beast of Revelation 13. And the winner is, well, apparently we have a tie. Apparently Charlton Heston barely passed through with a C. Thank you. I am Mrs. Hall. Um, I teach uh, religion to all the seniors, and then I teach geometry, algebra two, and uh, pre-calculus. In religion, um, there are a lot of opportunities for places where uh, you can earn extra credit for things uh, going a little bit above and beyond. But there's also an opportunity in that class to win a scholarship. Uh, we have a Philippian scholarship. If they memorize it chapter by chapter, they get a $1,000 scholarship to any Adventist college of their choice. And we have three people that have completed that so far. Uh, David Mendoza, uh, Beatrice Perilla, and Kayla Anderson. So they will be able to apply that to whatever college uh, Adventist College they attend uh, in the future. Uh, I have two that maintained 100% both semesters, and that would be Emily Watts and Kayla Anderson. In Algebra 2, uh, period 3A, those that have maintained a 95% or better are Ricardo Cruz, Brianna Mathis, Holly McGowan, Daniela Patino, Henry Valderrama, and Sophia Vowinkle. In Algebra 2, Section 6B, uh, maintaining a 95% both semesters, Jaden Hutchinson. Uh, in Geometry, uh, we have Joe Gutierrez, Gail Chiasset, Dalton Chang, Preston Chang, Anna Dennison, Joshua Klein, Megan Cerna, Maya Cerna, I'm sorry. And um, Ashley Kelsey maintained 100% for both semesters. Didn't miss anything on any of her tests. Uh, in pre-cal, the 3B section, Greta Barracks, Alex Falcone, Gracie Pinnells, Eden Samaniego, and Haley Seidel. And in pre-cal 6A, Karen Espinosa, Zach Lacone, and Micah Nakarinen. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Connor Mason, and it is my privilege to teach music um, at Chisholm Trail Academy. And this year I have two awards to give out, and uh, I brought the plaques. Each student actually receives um, a small trophy and a pin that go along with this. Um, and both of these awards are actually nationally known awards to schools around the country. Um, and only one student is allowed at each school to actually receive the award. Um, and it's very monitored. Um, so it really is a prestigious thing to get these awards. And our first one I have here is the National Choral Award. Um, the individual that this is going to this year um, is somebody who is very, very dedicated to choir. Um, they put lots of work into it. They're a very talented musician. Um, and it's a little bit maybe unorthodox, but we don't get to hear her sing as often as we would like to. She has a beautiful voice, um, but she actually is our, accompany, our accompaniment this year. And so I want to award the National School Choir Award this year to Kayla Anderson. And for band, we have the John Philip Sousa Award. Um, this award goes to an individual um, who is not only an outstanding musician, um, but is also somebody who goes above and beyond um, to both help unload, 
unpack and repack the trailers, um, is a leader in the band program. Um, and so this year, it was a very tough decision. Um, and what we decided to actually do is we voted on it as a band on who we thought um, deserved this award the most. And as a band, they thought that Ian Las Laschetti best deserved the John Philip Sousa Award. So congratulations. Thank you. Good evening. Um, I'm Patrick Shepard. I'm the history teacher here at CTA. And I typically award the person with the highest grade in each of my classes. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. For US history, um, for both semesters, the person with the highest uh, score was Daniela Patino. In economics, B with, again, 100% over the entire semester, it's Kayla Anderson. In economics A, Joshua Anderson. In world geography A, the, I'm giving the award to two people because they were separated by less than a tenth of a percent. And the award is going to go to Sophia Vowinkel and Lily Weingartner. In World Geography B, the award is going to Angie Gonzalez. And in Government, another familiar name that you've heard so far, again scoring 100% for the semester, is Kayla Anderson. Thank you. It's a privilege to teach at CTA. My name is Richard DeLong. I teach two classes. I teach stained glass and I teach a math models class. I'm giving an award here tonight to Grant Bailey. He has been a right arm to me. He's uh, done, he does outstanding work and he has been in my class for the last four years. Thank you, Grant. Um, good evening. I'm Jim Sickler. Um, over the uh, computer programs, PE, the yearbook, and the uh, at athletic director. But first, before I go into the athletic awards, I would like to do my academic awards. Um, in computer apps, 1A, uh, clearly outstanding, was Lily Weingartner, Samantha Weaver, and Arlene Charles. In my computer application, 1B, uh, truly outstanding was Sophia Volwinkel and Izzy Gutierrez. Computer apps, 1-4, uh, clearly outstanding was Selimar Herrera. Computer apps, 2, period 4, clearly outstanding was Anna Dennison and uh, Joshua Klein. PEA, clearly outstanding, was Demaya Duncan, Matt uh, Nakaranen, and Mia Samanego. PEB was Joshua Klein, Abby Haslam, Anna Dennison, and Ashley Kelsey. For the yearbook publishing class, the clearly outstanding was Emily Watts and Kayla Anderson. Now, at this time, I will begin the athletic awards. And uh, I know it's been an interesting year and not being able to have baseball and not being able to finish with, not only with baseball, with the tennis program. But we do have other activities this year that went very well. And I would hope that each one of you students and parents realize that 
Our academic programs are based on Christian education, that we put our academics before we put our athletics. And at this time, I want to begin with our soccer program. And what I'm going to do, because our soccer coach is not here at this time, is I'm going to read the awards that were established in our soccer season. First team all district was David Mendoza, Jaden Hutchinson, Abel Ramirez, and Darius Duncan. Second team all district went to Josh Anderson. First team all state went to Abel Ramirez and Jaden Hutchinson. Second team all state went to David Mendoza, Darius Duncan. Also in the soccer program, the defensive award of the year went to David Mendoza. Offensive award for soccer this year went to Darius Duncan. And uh, coach also gave the rookie of the year to Ian Roosh. The MVP of our soccer program this year was Abel Ramirez. Also in the national standard this year on max preps, we had two players that were players of the week nationally, and that was Josh Anderson and Darius Duncan. And at this time, I'll have the volleyball coach come, oh, excuse me, the volleyball coach come forward. And then after the volleyball coach, I'll have the gymnastics coach. Good evening. My name is Coach George Bardones, and I have been involved with the volleyball program for the last two seasons. I want to say it's been a privilege of mine to be involved with you guys. For uh, JV Volleyball, um, I was your head coach, and I enjoyed this season very much. This was my second year leading the head coaching volleyball for JV. I enjoyed this time a lot. You guys grew a ton, and I am very proud of your season. Um, for Defensive Player of the Year, we're going to go with Ali Wallace. You had a fantastic year, and I was very proud of you. Offensive. This was a hard, this was a hard award to give out to. We had two very good candidates, and it was hard for me to pick. So I'm going to award both of these awards to both of them: um, Sarita Valderrama and Katie Martinez. And finally, MVP goes to Kylie Rose. You had a fantastic year. You led us. You were our leader, and I was very proud of everything you did this season. And that's our uh, volleyball awards for varsity. As the JV coach, I watched you guys quite a bit, and I enjoyed and learned a lot from you guys. Um, even though I wasn't your coach and I wasn't there all the time, I was there a lot, and I, and I did it, really love the way you guys played this season. Coach Fernando wanted you guys to know that he really enjoyed playing with you, uh, coaching you girls this year. He says you guys were very coachable. You improved every game and every practice, and he was very proud of the season that you have. Uh, first team all district goes to Gracie Planels and Toddy Youngberg. Second team, Greta Barracks and Chloe Samaniego. Coach wanted me to give you guys the award for most improved, and that goes to Chloe Samaniego. Defensive player goes to Rachel Sousa. Offensive player goes to Toddy Youngberg, and MVP goes to Gracie Planel. Thank you, guys. Good evening once again. As you know, I'm Mr. Mason. I also have the privilege of coaching the gymnastics team. Um, and so I have four awards that I want to give out this evening. And the first one goes to our rookie of the year. Um, this goes to not necessarily somebody who is brand new to gymnastics, but somebody who is new to our team. Um, and so this year we want to recognize Dominique Thomas for our rookie of the year. Um, next we have our most improved. Um, this is an individual who we've seen grow so much. I can remember the first day she walked in gymnastics and was absolutely terrified to get up onto a two high. Um, but by the time we got to the end of the school year, well, the end of what we were able to do with gymnastics, um, when we got to two highs every single day, she'd jump up on top, hop down. She was laughing the whole time. She always brought smiles to the team. And so I want to recognize most improved, Gail Chayasu. Next, we have our leadership award. This individual was our team captain this year. Um, and you've heard her name several times. It's uh, no surprise that she's in our leadership position on our team. Um, she does a great job. She's an amazing gymnast, Ashley Kelsey. And last, our last word I want to give out is our MVP, or Gymnast of the Year. Um, this individual 
is somebody who was new to gymnastics last year. This is her second year on the team. Um, she is always happy, always willing to try whatever we ask her to do. Um, she's an amazing gymnast, amazing individual. Maya Serna, thank you. Thank you again. Here I, I am to present the basketball awards for the girls, JV, uh, uh, JV girls basketball. Uh, congratulations on a fantastic year. You guys did a good job. I watched you guys from afar, and I really also enjoyed you guys playing. Coach wanted to say some, some things about you guys. Um, defensive player, uh, Mia Semeniego and Makaija Eugene, you guys were both uh, amazing on defense, and you guys fought for the ball all the time, and you guys were great. Rachel Barracks and Kylie Rose, you guys were re really good leaders uh, and led us to a winning season. We are so proud of you guys for the growth that you have shown this season. Most improved goes to Sophia Bowinkle. Your skills improved every game, and you had great attitude. And then MVP, Dominique Thomas, you had a fantastic year. You were a leader on the court. We are very proud of you. Congratulations, Lady, uh, Lady Blazers, on a fantastic year. To present for... Um, lady for the varsity basketball, um, as your head coach, I was very proud of you guys. You guys had a fantastic year. We won district for the first time since 2017, and that's an accomplishment that I am very proud of. To my seniors, Adi, Cam, and Toddy, thank you for your commitment and your sacrifice. I'm going to miss you guys as we go forward. For the awards, um, this year we had a first team all district. We had three players, Chloe Samaniego. Sarita Valderrama and Holly McGowan, you guys were a first team all district. Second team, Daria Duncan, Demaya Duncan, and Cameron Perez. First team all state goes to Chloe Semeniego. Second team uh, all state goes to Sarita Valderrama. And then for my defensive player of the year, I want to present that award to Daria Duncan. You had a fantastic year. You were our anchor on defense. You played a big role. On the, on the defensive end, and you were a, a fantastic player. Congratulations on your award. Offensive player of the year goes to Sarita Valderrama. Even though you had a little bit of an injury and a setback this season, you, were, you helped us so much on the offensive end. You were a scorer and a leader on our team, and I was very proud of you for that. And finally, my MVP goes to Chloe Semeniego. You averaged, you led us in, in scoring. You won district MVP. You were an all-state performer, and I was very proud of your season. Congratulations, Lady Blazers, on winning district. Thank you. Okay, going on with the boys basketball. I'll start out with the uh, JV. Coach Carl couldn't be here, so I'm going to read what he gave to you guys. Uh, he said, I'd like to say thank you to all of the JV team. It was a great time getting to know each and one of you, uh, from the, all from the bus rides to the eating at the restaurants. Also, he mentioned... Uh, watching you come together as a family was one of the best things that had happened to him that year. A quick shout out to Zach Carney for stepping up his game at the later part of the season. I was also very proud of this squad of young men for all their Christian attitude. I think that as a, they become varsity players one day, they will bring even greater things as they come together. If they keep trusting each other, they will play very unselfish. That was from Coach Carl. Now, these are the awards that he had given. For Team Spirit, he gave it to Jeff, uh, James Terry. For the Six Man Award, he gave it to uh, DeQuaylin Duncan. The Defense Award to Christian Lease. The Offense Award to Daniel Rojas. And the MVP for the JV team was Richard Israel. Now, going to the boys' varsity basketball. Obviously, I've been at Chisholm Trail for, uh, as a varsity coach for about 15 years now. And uh, all I can say is this year was a clearly outstanding year. It's the first time in those 15 years that our varsity basketball boys went undefeated at home. They were 18-0 and 0 at home. Um, a lot of these young men I had since they were very, very young in hoop camp. And uh, all I can say, moms and dads, uh, parents, guardians, you have some incredible gentlemen. I would like to take this time now to just announce some of the awards that they achieved this year. Um, first of all, for first team all district was Jaden Hutchinson, Justin Mertz, and Darius Duncan. Second team all district was Marcus Martinez, 
Josh Anderson, Justin Anderson. First team All-State went to Jaden Hutchison. Second team All-State went to Justin Mertz. So my defensive award this year, and uh, one thing I want to mention, um, the sky would be awful dark with one star, and we have many stars on our team. And so this year I have several that won the defensive award. One, Marcus Martinez, Josh Anderson, and Justin Anderson. My office, offensive awards this year went to Justin Mertz and Darius Duncan. My MVP this year went to Jaden Hutchison. And you, you guys know that I love you guys. And I thank you for a wonderful year. As we wind down the year and this evening, uh, we want to congratulate each of our students who have won awards tonight, and each and every student for your hard work and dedication. Uh, we're very proud of you. And before I dismiss you, I want to recognize the hard work of our home and school. Our home and school has done a miraculous job this year taking care of us teachers the faculty and staff and the teachers by providing meals for us and goodies on certain holidays and events and so forth. And we just greatly appreciate that, that uh, you're a show of love towards us as a faculty and staff. And so thank you. The home and school leader and uh, the one behind all of this is Mrs. Shannon Bailey. So thank you so much, Shannon. And thank you for uh, joining us this evening. Hopefully you had a good time, and the students, uh, again, uh, thank you, and stay safe, and God bless. Thank you.